Hey everyone, Jason Kirk here from the Optical Imaging and Vital Microscopy Corps at the Baylor College of Medicine. In this video, I'm going to discuss how to push the AeriScan processing functions to their limit to get the highest quality image possible from your raw data. Before we begin, if you have not already watched our AeriScan and AeriScan Fast training video, please find a link to that video here and in the description below. It is important that you be familiar with the AeriScan technology before going further. You'll recall that for the standard AeriScan, the 32 raw images are processed first using a linear deconvolution, or Wiener filter. Then they are shifted by their distance from the central element and summed together. We don't have any control over the shifting and summing functions. Those are preset based on the known detector offsets. The control we do have is over the strength of the Wiener filter. In our previous AeriScan training video, we discussed processing AeriScan images using only the default auto parameters in the Zen Black software. The weighting that Zeiss uses for the automatic Wiener filter is fairly conservative, and you can push this value higher to get a better quality result. For maximum flexibility, we prefer to process AeriScan images in the Zen Blue software. There are two reasons for this. The first is that Zen Blue allows us to independently set the strength of the Wiener filter for each channel in a multicolor image, which is important because the image settings for each channel will likely be different. The second is that for processing 2D images, Zen Blue has a 2D SR mode that for each pixel will analyze the distribution of intensities over the AeriScan array to determine if there is any axial shift in the point spread function. This mode can improve the axial resolution by rejecting signal from pixels that display a sub-optimal point spread function. Let's start by processing a 3D Z-Stack with the default automatic settings to get a baseline image we can compare our results to. Open your saved dataset using the Zen Blue application, either on the host computer of the LSM880 or preferably on our AeriScan processing workstation. From the Processing tab in Zen, expand the Blue Method dialog and select AeriScan Processing from the Recently Used list. Or, if it does not appear here, perform a search for this function. Once you've selected AeriScan Processing, expand the Method Parameters dialog. Here you will find the properties of the AeriScan function. Since we've loaded a Z-Stack, you will see the 3D Processing checkbox available. Make sure to check this box, otherwise there will be no improvement in the axial resolution for our process dataset. You will also see a checkbox labeled Auto Filter. When Auto Filter is active, a drop down box will give you three options for setting the strength of our automatic Wiener filter. The options are Low, Standard, and High. To set our baseline, use the Standard Strength. This mode is similar to the default Auto mode in the Zen Black software. From Image Parameters, expand the Blue Input dialog. Ensure that our raw Z stack is selected. Click Apply to process the image. A new image window will be generated and you can see the progress of this process in the active job slider from the bottom toolbar in Zen. Once the processing completes, you will have a three-channel Z-Stack. Let's take a look at this image in greater detail to see how it would benefit from any additional increases in filter strength. For this example, I'm going to focus on the green channel by turning off all the others in the display. I'm also going to set our lookup table to none so we can view this channel data in its monochromatic form. Zoom the image to 100% and adjust the histogram to boost the display contrast. While the image looks fairly clean, we can improve the sectioning by increasing the strength of the Wiener filter. Before we can do that, we need to know what strength value the standard auto function used on this image. Click on the Info tab from the toolbar on the left-hand side of the image Scroll down to the bottom of this data table and locate the AeriScan mode super resolution value for each channel. Make a note of each of these values. In this example, they are 6.6 .6 for the red channel, 7.0 for the green channel, and 7.0 for the blue channel. Navigate back to the 2D display. Now let's experiment with increasing the strength of our Wiener filter. From method parameters, choose high from the strength dropdown and click apply. Changing the strength from standard to high will increase the strength of the Wiener filter for each channel by 5 tenths. So our new strength values would be 7.1 for the red channel, 7.5 for the green channel, and 7.5 for the blue channel. To compare the results, navigate to View and select two containers. 
click and drag the newly generated processed image to the right viewing window. We now have a side-by-side -side display of both images. Turn off the red and blue channels and set the lookup table on the green channel to none. Zoom the image to 100% and adjust the histogram to boost the display contrast. If the field of view is different for each image, check Auto Fit from the Dimensions tab and then click 100% on each image. The increase in the strength of the Wiener filter has improved the sharpness of the image compared to the results from the Auto Filter. Since this data has continued to improve with increased filter strength, let's see what happens if we push it even further. Back in our method parameters, uncheck the Auto Filter option. When you deselect the Auto Filter, you now have the option to check the box labeled Adjust Per Channel. Using our previous auto settings as a baseline, increase each of these values by another 5 tenths. So our red would be 7.6, green would be 8.0, and blue would be 8.0. Click Apply. Turn off the red and blue channels and set the lookup table on the green channel to none. Zoom the image to 100% and adjust the histogram to boost the display contrast. You can see that the image is much sharper, but it is starting to show signs of artifact, illustrated by these tiny little spiral shapes that start to appear when you over-apply the strength of the Wiener filter. As a last example, I'm going to show you what happens when you really overdo it. Here, let's use a strength value of 9 for each of the channels. Click Apply to process the image. Turn off the red and blue channels and set the lookup table on the green channel to none. Zoom the image to 100% and adjust the histogram to boost the display contrast. Now you can really see these spiral artifacts taking hold, destroying the resolution of this image. So your ideal value is somewhere just before any undesirable artifacts start to emerge. Spend some time working out this parameter independently on each of your channels for best results. Once you find suitable values for each of your channels, you should use the same processing strengths on any further data you collect using the same acquisition settings. Remember that if you alter input values like your master gain, you will likely find that you will need to modify the processing strength value. In addition to improving the quality of 3D images, the quality of 2D images can be enhanced compared to the default automatic settings in Zen Black. When processing a 2D image using the Zen Black application, it's important to remember that there is no improvement to the axial or Z resolution from 2D processing. With standard 2D processing, the Z resolution would be the same as a confocal image with an effective pinhole of 1.25 area units. The Zen Blue application has a tool to computationally improve the axial resolution of 2D images referred to as 2D SR processing. Let's take a look at this function compared to the standard 2D processing. From the Zen Blue application, open a 2D image. From the Processing tab, expand the Blue Method dialog and select AriScan Processing from the Recently Used list. From Image Parameters, expand the Blue Input dialog and ensure that our raw 2D image is selected. When we select a 2D image, you will see the 2D SR processing checkbox available. Leave this checkbox disabled for right now. From Auto Filter, set our Wiener filter strength to standard. Click Apply to process this image. Once the processing completes, click 100% and use the min max function to set the ideal contrast. We now have a 2D processed image comparable to the result we get from the 2D AriScan processing in Zen Black. Now let's turn on the 2D SR processing and compare the results. Check the box labeled 2D SR processing. Click Apply to process the image. Once the processing completes, click 100% and use the min max function to set the ideal contrast. To compare the results, navigate to View and select two containers. Click and drag the newly generated processed image to the right viewing window. To match up the images, check Auto Fit from the Dimensions tab at the bottom of the image window. Then click 100%. From this comparison, it is quite easy to see the autofocus improvement in the 2D SR processed image. From here, you can use the strategies outlined for the 3D processing to further improve the image if desired. 
Experiment with these strength values for each channel to find a setting that gives you the best optical section with no detectable artifacts introduced by the Wiener filter. If you have any questions about this technology, or just want to discuss what options you might have for your own imaging experiments, please feel free to contact the OIVM core through our website or via direct email. Thank you.